Okay, so today we are looking at three variables. In two variables, we used X and Y, but we could use A and B, we could use any other letters we like, but because we are traditionally solving it to find a point of intersection on a graph, and that graph, that Cartesian plane, has X axis and a Y axis, then with three variables, we're still tr trying to solve it on a graph. We'll get to that later, but the three variables are X, Y, and Z. All right? So we tend to use those when we're using um, it in a out there way, you know, not, not contextual, but algebraic way. We use X, Y, and Z. When we use it in a contextual way, our layers should actually stand for whatever they're standing for. So if we're, stand, if we're talking about mm -hmm. albinos and bamboo and carrots, then we would have A, B, and C standing, and we would dedicate those letters to the particular thing. So we have to make sure we do that. But that's later on. We're just going to learn the skills on how to actually solve with three variables first. So we can't solve by graphical methods. Our calculators don't work that way, so we have to actually solve algebraically. We don't have to solve by hand, but we need to learn to because that's our merit and excellence part of it. So we use the two techniques we used yesterday, which are elimination and substitution, but we may use both of them within the same question. All right. So yesterday I said one variable, one equation, two variables, two equations, three variables, Equation. Yay! So we need three pieces of information to be able to solve for three variables. All right? We cannot do it if we only have two. All right? We cannot solve it if we only have two pieces of information. The third piece of information doesn't have to be a, a complicated equation. It could be as simple as x equals 4. So what is y and z? But it won't be. Generally, the most you'll have missing is one variable in an equation. So you might have one equation that's got x and y, and then the other two have got x, y, and z. All right? The idea when we are trying to solve three variables is to eliminate one of the variables, then eliminate another one, and get to the point where we've got either x or y or z equal to something. And then we backtrack through it, so with that x, we can substitute where we had two. One will be x and something will be something. Once we've got those two, we can go back up to what we originally had, substitute those in, and find the one that was missing. All right? Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Let's just write this. Three variables, we need three equations. We need three pieces of information. Our equation. We can use elimination and or substitution. E.g. A plus 2B minus C We're going to have A's and B's. Negative 4. I'm going to write this funny, but <coughs> that's just because I'm saving time. 3A plus 2C equals 14. So normally this would be over here, but when we write it down, we want to line them up so we can actually see what are the A's, what are the B's, and we need to rewrite it if they aren't all in the same order. 4a minus 4b minus 3c. <clears throat> so as per as I said, this one already has one of them in the in two variables. So equation two is already in two variables, which is great. Now we need another equation, because we need two equations with two variables to be able to get rid of one. So we need to use the other two and get rid of B, because it has to be the same one we get rid of. We need two equations in terms of A and C. So we're going to use 1 and 3 and get rid of B. 
So what would we do? Cool. So we're going to do 2 times 1 and add it to 3. We can do all of that in one sentence. So 2 times A is 2 plus this is 6A. 2 times 2B is 4B minus 4B is no B. Negative 2C plus negative 3C is negative 5C. We've got to do this one as well, and this is the one people forget. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus 0 is negative 8. Alright? So now we've got another new equation. I'm going to call it 4, because it seems to come next. It makes sense. So we've got this equation and this equation now in terms of A and C. So now we can get rid of either A or C in the same way. So we're using elimination still. I'm going to multiply this one by 2. So 2 times 2 and minus 4 to get rid of the 6A. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we've got 6A minus 6A is no A's. 2 times 2 is 4 minus minus 5 is plus. So we've got 9C. 2 times 14 is 28, minus minus 8, 28 plus 8 equals 36. All right, this is when the minus minus is. So it's 14, take away negative 8. All right, be careful with those ones. So now I've got 9C equals 36. I can find out that C is 4. All right, one down. Now moving back up a step, I need to go to one of these two, and it doesn't matter which one. These all have the same answer, so it doesn't matter which one we use. So if I use this one in four, so C in four gives us 6A minus 20 equals negative 8. So 6A equals 12A is 2. Now I've got C. And A, I go back up to either 1 or 3 and find out what B is. So I'm going to go into 3, only because when I've got all 3, I'm going to substitute into the other one. A into 3 gives me 4 times 2 minus 4B minus 3 times 4 equals 0. So that's 8 minus 4B minus 12 equals 0. 4B will equal 8 minus 12, which is negative 4, so B is negative 1. All right. Now, I don't know if I'm right or not yet. That's my working. I've got to there. But remember what I said about your answer schedule? Your answer schedule is the one you didn't substitute into, so this one. So we check in 1. Checking in 1 to make sure that we're right. In the case of the um, test, you're actually going to put in your calculator twice to check you're right. So we've got A, which is 2, plus 2 times negative 1, minus 4. What does that equal? 2 minus 2 minus 4 equals? 2 minus 2 minus 4 equals? So it's not the wrong sign. Okay. All right, because it's right. So it's good. Wait, I, I, I'm confused. Yeah. Well, because we made an equation, then we need to use the two equations that we, and sometimes, most of the time, we actually have to make two more equations. So we have oh, four yeah. and a five. So you have to make the. You have to eliminate one variable at a time till you only have one left, and then you go back up to find out the rest. All right? So using our graphics calculator, we need to go to equations. All right? We go to F1, I think it is, for simultaneous. We've now got three variables, so that is F2, I'm going to say. I have no idea. 
anybody got the calculator or the sheet? Yeah. Two. Yes? Yeah. And then we've got our matrix. And in our matrix, we need to put the information. So we've got 1A, 2B, negative 1A, negative 4. We've got 3As, no Bs, 2Cs, and 14. We've got 4As, negative 4, negative 3, and 0. And solve. Now, when you solve in this case, it's going to say x equals this y equals that, that equals that, and it will be exactly the order you put them in. So this will be x, which is A, y, and z. Right? You need to make sure you're putting in the order right in there. And if they are in decimals, in the bottom of your calculator screen, it will have the fractional equivalent, which of course is an exact value. So it's important to use that. All right? 